the dolphin drive at Taiji is a twofold thing. One is to drive the dolphins in and select uh, prime specimens for sale to marine aquariums uh, throughout Asia primarily. And the other, uh, the, the rest of the dolphins are considered expendable, so they're butchered and then their meat is sold. Uh, they make more money from one dolphin being sold to a marine aquarium, approximately two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars than they do from butchering the rest of the pod. But uh, their reasoning being is, well, you know, we have no more use for these dolphins, so we might as well just kill them and sell the meat. When you approach any campaign, you have to have a strategy that works for that particular campaign. With the Taiji Dolphin issue, we're working inside Japan and therefore subject to Japanese laws. You could cut the nets, we've done that, and that immediately resulted in the arrest of two of the crew members who did so, and uh, then we were no longer in a position to do that again. So that's just simply a temporary uh, approach. Uh, what we've adapted here is a long-term strategy of daily harassment over six-month periods, which last year resulted in the cutting of the kill uh, quota by half, and hopefully it'll do the same this year. We're the only group that's actually cutting that kill quota, that's actually saving dolphins, and this is the only strategy that we have found so far that is, is workable. The daily uh, documentation is actually a daily harassment of the fishermen. Two things are happening. It really gets on the fishermen's nerves and uh, it keeps them under the international spotlight. Everybody's aware of what they're doing. It slows down their operations. The other thing is it's costing the Japanese uh, government and especially the policing forces around $2 million. So it's cutting into the profits that are, that are being made. It's, it's costing Japan money. So it's affected both from an economic point of view and from a public relations point of view. The Cove Guardian program is one where uh, as many people as possible can participate. Last year it was 65 volunteers from around the world that came. So anybody who wants to actually do something uh, can go to Taiji and our Cove Guardian directors and will direct them on uh, how to go about uh, being effective. There's two ways to get involved with the uh, Cove Guardians. One is to actually physically go there and participate and the other is to support the Cove Guardians that are on the ground financially. Uh, people can get involved by going directly to the uh, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society website, uh, www.seashepherd.org. If people stop going to marine aquariums around the world, yes, it certainly would uh, decrease the demand for captive dolphins. Uh, I mean, r really what we have here is a slave trade where uh, the marine aquariums are uh, capturing these animals and putting them on display for money. And uh, if they weren't making money, then they would have no need to be holding uh, these dolphins or capturing more.